He reminds me of Brian Erlacher. He's got that swagger. <laughs> well, there you as long as you can back it up, I mean, you can't really complain. I mean, he is our first ever Old Spice Rising Star Award winner in here in his 2008. And you know what? Uh, you know, I want to jump on board, though, Farouk. We're going to go with a guy who's heating things up. It was Soviet. He just picked up a big double kill. He's going to be taken down, though, by El My Warrior. But we're going to stay on board with Soviet a bit here. Now, Sunday, as I mentioned earlier before the game started, Soviet comes in with a ton of hype. The community loves him. Whenever I play online with him, he puts at least 40 kills up in objective games. Complete monster. But he seems to struggle with the experience. Seems to just get shut down. I think, you know, he's a bit of a shy kid. You know what I mean? And, and, and that sometimes can work against you. Some guys can get away with that. But I've seen his ability. He has it. Walshi is, is an amazing uh, you know, scout of talent and ability. And he said, this is my guy. And much as he did with Killer N back in the day. Another kid who was just a raw talent. Now, the crazy thing is, is in Toronto, when Straight Rippin defeated Instinct both times they played, Soviet had his two worst series statistically. Now, this is since joining the team. He went negative 25 in the first and negative 36 in the second. Now, Walshi also had a tough time in Toronto when he's going negative 36 in the first series. But I, I really look at Walshi and I say, you know what, he can go negative a little bit because he's going to do so much. But Soviet's got to be a leader. He's got to be at least even. Got to agree with you on that one, Sundance. We're staying on board here with Soviet, trying to lock down on the training. Here he's got T-squared one-on-one, and now he's going to have his sniper rifle to work with after shutting down T-squared's killing spree. Hit snipe down oh. once there, but snipe down's team shot with the help of Legit was able to take him out. Soviet here looks a little bit nervous, but he also, you know, he looks comfortable here on the on the main stage. We're checking out Lunchbox and Walshy. I want to jump on board with a Stray Rippin member. We're going to jump on board with T-Squared. He's got the sniper rifle once again oh. for Stray Rippin. And there he puts it to use on Roy. Just missed oh, the big double. shot for the head, second headshot, but cleans it up with a body oh. shot. And Soviet, he's got a sniper of his own. We're going back to him. I'll tell you what, right now, this is... You definitely see these teams have warmed up a little bit. They're, they're going back and forth with each other. What I'm looking for, though, is for instinct to you know, come up with one of their kind of trademark plays, whereas you're going to see a player maybe sitting in that base, waiting until there are a couple people down, pulling the flag, being disruptive, and usually that's going to key off of Roy and Lunchbox swarming and covering their teammates. Now, we've seen Instinct so far. They've made a few big pushes where all four members are able to get on the Straight Rippin' side of the map, but they keep getting shut down. Meanwhile, when Straight Rippin' gets into the Instinct base, they're able to hold down their positions. They're able to fortify those positions and start to spawn kill. That is exactly what Instinct needs to do if they want to start turning these big pushes into flag captures. Here we got Soviet chasing after two legit. They always say don't chase in Halo 3, but Soviet's not scared of anything. Legit wasn't expecting it, and now he's going to be rewarded with a big double kill. And here, it may be a oh. triple, but no, nice four shot there by Elmite Warrior. And that's a really good sign for straight. Last event, Elamite had a little bit of an off event towards the end of the series. He ran out of gas, it seemed like. But if, if he's going to be solid, he again, the kid's an all-around star. He does every facet of the game, plays it well, and really knowledgeable. He's a, he's a leader on this team, you know, helping to uh, captain teach her out a lot. You have to teach you who the actual leader on the team is, and he'll tell you, Elamite. Yeah, and if you actually talk to the other pro players around the league, they'll tell you that the best captain who's not a captain, it is El Might Warrior. He's the guy coming up with a lot of the straight ripping strategies who he says has actually been copied by a lot of the other teams in the league. And he is always the guy keeping the team in it when things look bad. And it looks like Instinct is going to be moving the flag. Snipe down trying to stop it. T-squared is in the base. He's squared being taken down and snipe down going clutch. There's Lunchbox. Here's the assassination. Oh! But now it's up to Legit. Can Legit stop it? And he does. Now he's got to protect the flag all on his own. This is going to look like an uh, instant capture. And there we go. Instinct tying it up one to one. He might just picked up Rockets over here. So watch for him to move into the instinct base with them. Meanwhile, we got Soviet still sitting on his flag. All four members of Straight Rippin being able to push into the Instinct base now. Oh, After no. that big flag cap from Instinct, they were able to capitalize, push in, grab the power weapons while Instinct was looking to put the flag in. And now they have a flag of their own going out in the hands of T-Squared. Great counter cap we're seeing here, Sunday. You see Elamite there. He's like a shark. He's hunting. He's looking around, looking for the Instinct members on respawn with those rockets. Finally got a sign. Oh. 
And the flag was stopped. So T squared was stopped. We're jumping on board with Legit. Legit trying to touch that flag. It's going to go back in about six seconds here. And it looks like Straight Rippin is going to not worry about the flag. Smart move here. Instead, they are just going to prevent the counter cap coming from the Instinct Squad because they are all pushing in extremely aggressively. Here is Legit being taken down by Roy. And I want to jump on board with Roy as he gets blown up. It's Walsh's turn. <laughs> you got the touch of death again today, Bucket. Yeah. You know, I, I got to agree with you. That was a really smart play by Straight Rippin, not overextending. Because if they work too hard, legit pushes out right there, then easy counter cap coming back. Nobody better than Instinct at that. And that's a, that's a really experienced team. That's a team that's been here before that knows you're going to get another chance. You'll be able to pull the flag again. You don't have to go too far just because the flag is right there. All right. Well, I'm seeing Walsh. He is calling out all kinds of positions to his teammates, calling out the strategies. They're all tied up. We have three minutes and 11 seconds left in the remaining time here before we go into sudden death overtime. All tied up one-to-one, -one, of course. First team to three flags will win. And Sundance, I kind of want to listen in to hear what's going on with this Instinct squad. Right, you can make it. You make it. No, no, no. I got what's right? What's up? What's up? They're frag nade. 15 up. seconds, Ovi. 15, one five. Two their dark ramp. Two their dark ramp. Two their dark ramp. Two their dark ramp. One shot. One shot. I'm dead. I'm dead. One there, Mauler. Just forget it. Just forget it. Five seconds, Ovi. Five seconds. They're in their hallway or green. Our green. Our green. Our green. Our green, guys. I don't think my nade's touch him. Oh, he's up. Oh, he's up. Screen. He's nading our mauler. Is that a needle or something? I'm flanking flag. I'm flanking flag. Okay, okay, Ryan, toss the green, guys. Wait, New snipes up. Hunter training also. Hunter training weak. They're going training sideways. They're going training. He's going to flag. Nice. Our dark green. Our green and our dark green. Our green and our dark green. Our green and our dark green, guys. Kyle's got a west. Nice, Dave. Nice. Two down. Rock it up. Rock it up. Rock it up. Rock it up. Our hallway. Our hallway one shot. Our hallway one shot. Needle pit. Our needle pit and our green. Get our green. Our green. Our green. Don't let him get our flag. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. I go on top turret with sniper. He's dead. Our last two are base. Our green and our... Was he in our pit or no? Yeah, he's in our pit. He's in our train. In the train pit. Go in their dark. Go in their dark. They're dark. They're gonna have rocks. They're up. I'm in green and at our BR. Our BR. Come in two. Our flag. Come in In our BR. One shot. Weak our flag. Spike down. Two shots. Our flag. One shot. One shot. One shot. Our flag. He's running it in a second. The other guy in our flag. One shot. He's still there. Down to left. BR side. BR side. On the box. In the base. One shot. I I Perfect. T squared with the rockets, doing the dirty. Hit lunchbox, threw him up in the air, but big play there by lunchbox to take oh. down T squared. That is going to stop a flag attempt here from Straight Ribbon. We got All Might Warrior sitting in the instinct base. He was trying to stay alive, but Soviet knew exactly where he is. We're going to jump back on board with the instinct squad. They now have a sniper rifle in the hands of Soviet and the rockets in the hands of lunchbox, who's pushing in on the Straight Ribbon needle spawns. Oh no, lunchbox missing that shot right there. Definitely cost him. He's going to probably be able to get into the base, but that, that missed shot just gave the straight ripping members time to take him out. So far, again, I've seen Soviet have great moments, but right there, for example, that's a play that you would expect him to make based on his skill level. 